I am in my home, not fishing, but this is relevant to fishing. So everybody knows it's coming up on holidays, New Year's, Christmas, things like that. And me and my girlfriend decided to exchange Christmas gifts this year. She ended up deciding that we can open our presents slightly early before Christmas. As you can tell, I'm in comfortable attire. It's winter time, uh, middle of December, almost the end of December. And I just wanted to showcase what I didn't receive from her. I'm gonna go ahead and bring out what this video is all about. And we'll compare old versus new. See how it does. Go into detail, show y'all specs and all that. So yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, all right, so what we got is two separate different tackle box book bags. One is old, one is new. This is my gift that I got for my girlfriend from Christmas. It's made by Ozark Trail Outdoors Equipment. Um, if you didn't know, Ozark Trail is basically a Walmart type of um, store brand. And they really be producing numerous amount of different things from baits to tackle boxes, flyers, you name it, you think about it, that's probably what they can make. Uh, go to your local Walmart, you find one. Either way it goes. This is my gift that she gave me. This is my bag, y'all probably seen a lot since the last time I made my video, it probably was in there. It been in there a lot of times. If y'all even seen the fishing commercial, Georgia Wildlife fishing commercial, I had this book bag on. This book bag is so freaking heavy because I have so much tackle in it. I never know exactly what type of environment I'm gonna be in or how the water is or what type of fish even biting. So I like to keep it at random. You know, keep as much tackle as I can on me to the point to where I go to a pond or a lake and I forget a tackle, so forget some worms, let's say, at home. Brand new pack of worms. Now what? I gotta go home, get those pack of worms, come back, maybe beat the sunlight, catch a fish in between all that. It's too much. So I'd rather just go ahead and keep all my majority of my inventory. This is not everything that I own for my fishing stuff. You know, of course I got saltwater stuff. I don't fish saltwater on a day-to-day -day basis. But now that I got a new bag, I might consider making this my saltwater bag. But it contains mostly freshwater stuff in it. As of now, I'm gonna convert majority of my tackle over to this bag, show you what I have in this bag at the time being all the specs and stuff that it has and uh, what I had liked about it to make me want to purchase it. And this bag, uh, all the secret compartments and pockets and stuff and stuff that came with it, specs and everything, and why I actually fell in love with this when she showed me this. Either way it goes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and start off by opening this bag. This bag is made by Extreme Performance Series. I got it from Bass Pro Shop on clearance for roughly about 60 bucks or so. It was on a clearance table. Um, I was very in need of a tackle fishing bag. Little did I know I used to use a little, you know, the little scrap on bags that you would throw your little worms and hooks and stuff in. And it gets tiring when you carry so much of it. A book bag, is legit it has rod holders on it we're gonna get to it so let me get this off the table show y'all exactly what we got going on so like i said yeah i got this from bass pro shop um i had it roughly maybe three years or so i recently just got it washed i had my girlfriend's mother resew this rod holding pouch on the front end for me because it was coming loose and i had maneuver it 
it was a mess. Either way it goes, this bag, I'm not talking, and I'm just letting it be known, I'm not talking bad on either or of these bags. I'm just showing the cons and the pros of what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Um, it's not saying that this is a horrible bag because I fell in love with it. I bought it. If I didn't like it, I would have left it. So, from therefore, we're going to keep it going. Um, as y'all can see on this bag, I had to replace a lot of zippers because the handles to the zippers was coming off uh, back to back, actually. And it has a few on the main part pockets. And on it, it says Bass Pro Shop. Tab, on the tab, it says Bass Pro Shop. But this one right here, I got a crankbait on. Um, I just like it little decoration, little rattle, you know, just something cool. Um, but that's just how the outside of it is. It's red and black. Um, it has a, a numerous of pockets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pockets um, on the outside of the bag itself. It has two hard shell pockets. Um, this front interior pocket is very slim for like plastics and packages of that. Um, you open it up here. What we have in here is tackle boxes. And when we flip the, the lid down, you got another pocket right here. You can put your worms in whatever hooks, whatever you got in there. It zips up. Now, I don't use those two pockets in the front. I don't know for what reason, but I do stash stuff in it every so often or whatnot but we're gonna keep it moving i have here my brass my bass pro shop tackle box uh, with a lot of my swim baits in it got this plinko tackle box with uh frogs and jigs and then i got this big 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 girl oh this is my crane baits swim baits hard baits tackle box now, all this fit in this pocket here, right? But if you lift up, it's a Velcro strap inside, if you can hear it. Uh, it opens up and lifts up, so it makes it deeper than what it should be. Usually you would think it would be just this box size, this big thing wouldn't fit in there. But since I have this on the very bottom, I can slide it up under and utilize all the extra space that I've got in there. I'll throw two more tackle boxes on top of that and be able to zip it all up and get going. Um, I'm just gonna leave these out. We can go over what I have in there after I'm done showing both of these bags because um, I'm gonna end up transferring my lures into that new bag and stuff like that. So just stick with us if y'all wanna see that. It'll be probably close towards the end of the video. But back to what we were saying, I'm zipping that up. These, this front pocket is now empty. The deep pocket is now empty. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and move these, put these down below. Go ahead and show y'all this hard shell front case. It looks like you should put sunglasses, stuff like that in there. I would assume it got this little padding thing. What I use it for is to put my hooks and on my loose uh, lures I cut off and exchange when I'm changing my baits and stuff. And I just put it in here, hook it on a little plastic, little foam part, so the hook is not exposed, nothing's getting stabbed or nothing like that, because it's still a fabric book bag. It can, the hook can go right through it. Imagine if it can go through a fish lip. All right, so I put a lot of stuff in here, like tackle-wise. And I think it's meant for sunglasses though. So with this stuff in here, I'm just gonna leave it in there. It's a whole bunch of loose stuff. We'll get to that later. And we're gonna go over here on the side. So we got these straps right here, these Velcro straps. It got two pairs of Velcro straps, right? So basically what you do is with this down here, this little pouch, you got a Velcro strap also. You lift it up, you'll be able to drop your fishing handle at the end of your fishing rod in here scrap it down it'll come out on the side you strap this around your fishing poles right and then you velcro it and 
theoretically a hose your fishing rod straight up while you got your book bag on and you're just walking along. Note to self, when you have a top of box book bag that does that, be careful with a lot of overhead cover on trees, stuff like that, if you're walking to your ponds or new locations or whatever. So just watch out, because you got a rod and it's stuck to your book bag. I had to learn the hard way. I was walking and a tree clotheslined me on the way to a fishing pond in front of everybody. Either way, it's just not an experience that I would want anybody else to go through. I would hope for y'all to avoid it as best as possible. But back on what I was saying. Okay, so on the left side of this book bag, we have our rod holder I just showed y'all. And then we have a, another pocket with the zipper messed up. It's the handle messed up. None of these zippers are messed up. It's just the handles of the zippers was coming off. The Bass Pro Shop emblem handles. Okay, we open this up here. It's a pocket with a pouch on it, all right? It's a pocket with a pouch on it. I keep in here some Vanish Line Berkeley 12 pound test. Um, and I also, in this little pouch right here is actually a line feeder. So you stick your line in here. There's a slot back here on the side. You stick your line out of that. And whenever you zip it back up, you'll be able to get this line tied to your bill and theoretically wind in your line that is needed from this pocket on the side of your book bag. That right there, back when I purchased that, it got me. I liked it. I was like, okay. I never thought how much I would need fishing line on me. You never think about it, but sometimes you're not always able to go home and change your fishing line and stuff like that. Sometimes you're up on the road. Like me, I like to travel and fish. I, it was an awesome accessory to this book bag. Little did I know I had it. Let's pull this fishing line out and show y'all exactly what line I was using on a daily basis. And this is mainly for my bait casters, my heavy line, jig lines, frogs, stuff like that. Um, I got some micro uh, filament uh, size, 17 pound test suffix. This is amazing, it's clear, it's thick, it don't fray that often. It's, it's very, it's a good line quality, uh, good company suffix. And then I got Berkeley here. Now, um, I love Berkeley, don't get me wrong, but it is very expensive. And I'm on a budget. I'm not one of these bass tournament fishermen. I don't get sponsored by these people. I don't have a discount code to get shipped out multiple products. But what I am sponsored by is a company called iBobber Sonar. iBobber Sonar is a company that um, has a sonar shaped like a bobber. Okay, I don't have a bobber with me right now, but you know what a fishing cork a uh, bobber look like. It's white and um, red. And it's a sonar device that you can actually tie onto your fishing rod, cast it out, see the depth of the water and the surrounding fish and structure down below while fishing from the bank. It's amazing, it's new technology. I would check it out if I was you, I bobber. And if you're going to purchase anything from the website, use code MTA15 and you'll get a discount at their checkout. Um, I got a couple products here too. I will show y'all uh, that they also produce other than just their sonar. But back to this book bag. I'm gonna zip that pocket up, uh, leave this line here out, because like I said, we're gonna be exchanging all the tackle I got in here into the new bag. Uh -huh. All right, so turning to the other side of the book bag, we have a little mesh pocket here. As you can tell, it's been used a lot. Uh, thrown a lot of hooks, raw hooks, um, bear hooks. Throw a lot of bear hooks in here, stuff that could tear it up. And over time, it got tore up. I throw my book bag around like it's nothing. Boom. So we got a little mesh netting here. It was nice while it lasted. Um, then you got two side pockets over here. You got one, a hard shell outer side pocket. As you can tell, I say once again, I use this bag a lot. Every time I go fishing, I mainly just bring my bag. I don't usually take stuff out of my bag and then go fishing, unless I'm walking the long distance 
or something like that so it's not as tough as it should be to me. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and open this up. We got two little uh, elastic bands on the top and bottom. I don't know exactly what it's for, maybe for pliers or something like that, maybe like fishing line spray stick in there. I don't know, it's hard case, so you don't lose your stuff. Uh, okay, so boom. We're gonna zip that up. Go ahead and go behind this to the pocket in the back. And inside of this pocket, I don't keep nothing in the front hard shell pocket at all either. Um, and this side pocket I got right here is my fishing scale. Sponsored by iBobber, code MTA15. Check them out. Link is in the description below. I'll place that right here. iBobber comes with a lip grip. So you can grip those uh, toothy fish and wear them up like this. But nine times out of 10, I'm bass fishing. So I just hook them in the gills right here. Um, I don't make contact with their gills or anything. But I bobber, check them out. Very awesome. And in the same pocket, I have my I bobber fishing pliers. It's amazing. Got some cut line cutters on the side. We got some weight uh, closers. You can close your weights, you know, your little BB weights line cutter, all uh, that nice grip on it. And you got a bobber sonar right here in the middle of the pliers. Sponsorship right there, pretty cool. I bobber products right here. Um, yeah, that's basically what I keep in the side pocket. Um, otherwise than that, I just got a couple loose worms and lures and stuff in there. I bobber sonar, you should definitely check them out. Code MTA15 for a discount at checkout. I'm gonna set this aside. Of course, it's going in a new tackle box. And we're gonna hit these last two, yep, last two pockets I got. Got this mini pocket above their uh, XPS patch that they got right here. And I do not keep anything in this whatsoever. Also, we got this big, 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 big pocket right here. It's, um, look like it's lined with like, a refrigerated bag type material it's supposed to be like a cooler type material I'm I'm assuming I wasn't using it for that I was just using it to store my plastics um, and I got these two little micro tackle boxes one I use my weight hooks crappy jigs micro crankbaits jigs uh, jerk baits and then the other one I got my weights hooks, drop shot hooks, treble hooks, everything else in here. Um, these are necessary every time I go, so these have to go with me. Put these to the side for now. Now, everything that's in these plastic Ziploc bags that I got in this pouch is a uh, reused plastic pouches from plastic worms and stuff like that. Um, I got a couple of loose lures and stuff, but that's about it. Majority of it was just my plastics and yeah. So we just got that refrigerated pouch. It's not empty and we're going to put this bag to the side. We're done with that. Now, what I have here is my plastics my crappy jig trailers, all types of stuff. I keep them in Ziploc bags because a lot of lures, people do not tell you this, a lot of lures have garlic smells, salts, it gives a smell. Um, I don't like that smell or those fluids or juices leaking out onto my book bag or onto my personal body. Um, I want to keep it stored away. For example, I have Spike It. Uh, it's a color changing liquid that you put on your trailers and stuff like that. And they come uh, garlic scented or non garlic scented, uh, different colors. I got yellow, blue, but chartreuse blue and red. And I keep these in the Ziploc bag, in my book bag. It smells, everything. 
it's out the way, it's gone. I keep them separated, uh, worms separated by link, uh, crawfish, paddle tails, whatever it has to be, it's separated. Um, you know, just keep them in there. It's, it's very easy for me to organize my plastics like this and just having them pouch by pouch by pouch. It gets too messy, too quick. So that's all that I have inside of that XPS book bag. And now on to the best thing of this video. My gift from my beautiful girlfriend. Now, let me first and foremost show y'all exactly how it looks. Give y'all a little 360. Look at that. Now, what first off caught my eye was the design that it got on this bag itself. They're labeled on the front end pouch. Then we have a whole bunch of nets, mesh nets, little side mesh nets right here. That's what first catches my eye. Second, the pull tabs for the zippers. Now, remember I was telling y'all about the Bass Pro Shop pull tabs that majority of those was disappearing. On these, they have these tied into a knot. So you cannot pull them off as easily. Um, they're all the same, same size. They got a little fingerprint. Uh, I don't know if you guys see it. It's shaped like a C or a U or whatever. And it's perfect for your finger to go in there, pull it and, and put it back. Very easy. Um, the third thing that caught my eye was the design that it has. It has like a terrain uh, type ordeal, uh, black and white terrain camouflage design on the bag itself. And other than that, it's orange and black and gray. I like it, I really do. It's uh, simple, it's not too bright, it's not too noticeable, but it, you cannot lose it. It's nice, it's light. Also, it has these nice little rivets on the bottom of this book bag. It's meant for the book bag to stand up, just like that. Easy peasy. You don't wanna tip over, you don't wanna fall over. You be tired of doing stuff. I myself like to record like I'm doing right now. And I like to put my cameras up on my book bag, on my phone, up on my book bag, if I'm doing lies and stuff like that. So stability on this bag is at 100% doing its job. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, it looks like they have a little tab back here. Ozark Trail, Outdoors Equipment, Fishing Book Bag. Um, Let's see the specs it got. The features is vape cooler compartment. It holds up to six vape tubes. What is a vape tube? I don't know. Um, okay. I think that's what they, vape cooler. So it goes in here. This is the cooler part. It looks like a cooler, you know, just like my other one. Instead, my other one had a zipper like a regular book bag. So as soon as you open it, all the stuff gonna fall out if it's standing straight up. With this one, it's boxed in. It got a, a depth to it that it can hold a decent amount of stuff. Um, it's insulated on top also. It has two zippers. I love it. And it got a top pocket on top. Uh, the top pocket itself inside is very fabric used for like uh, scratch proof for your phone or your sunglasses and everything. I'm definitely going to be utilizing that top pocket with my sunglasses. Adjustable paddle, shoulder straps, and pay and padded arm mesh book bag. So now they're telling me that this side right here is basically the cushion side, which it is very, very, very it has more cushion than that one, but it might have had the same amount of cushion when I first purchased it. Being that I use it a lot, it probably went away. Um, next thing, water resistant map and phone pocket. So the map and phone pocket they're saying is this one. This is where you're supposed to put your map and your phones at. As y'all can see right here, it got two little mesh pouches. As soon as you open this out, you got this little fabric arm. So when it falls down, it don't just flap all the way down. It stops for you. Um, there's a plastic pocket 
on the back and side with one zipper that goes straight across. Um, I'm assuming this is where you put your cell phone, your maps and stuff like that. You want to keep it dry. So this is necessarily a dry storage part on the book pack. Um, let's go on to the next thing. Okay, it says we got a D-ring for clip-on accessories. This D-ring right here, this little bull's nose, bull nose ring. Um, yeah, you can put stuff on here. Accessories like whistles, fingernail clippers, stuff like that, fishing accessories. Okay, um, we got a two-dip front pocket for tools. So, the front pocket here is saying, when you open this out, yep, when you open this out, we got three slots, mesh slots, about finger depth on here and nothing else. Oh, it's a little, oh, it's a, little, it's a lot of room in here actually. Well, it goes behind these two and it's about enough room to hold a couple things in there. Um, and it looks like you can put your clippers or whatever you want, pencils, pins, whatever in these little slots. Last but not least, the main compartment with tray dividers. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you, um, I looked at this already once before, of course, before making this video. Now this pocket right here contains uh, the trays, you know, the plastic clear trays type uh, things that I had in my other book bag. These. Now. This book bag has four slots in it. Um, and originally, my girlfriend told me that with two of these inside the book bag, the other two slots was empty. She was very kind of her heart and purchased two more and put them in there to continue with my Christmas gift. Um, I'm very appreciative about that and I wanna say thank you. You got one, two, three, Four trays sitting right here in this secondary pocket. And then you have four racks sitting in here. On the side of the rack, it has Velcro straps so you can take the racks out itself. Uh, if you have a bigger tackle box, like my big boy that I got down there with all the swim baits and stuff, it might not even fit in here. I might even have to do some configuration with some of these tackle boxes. That is very nice, it got it, so it's separated. You let you know, you either putting it down like so, you just reach in there, pull it out, boom, get it, throw it back in. Also, what I did not notice is on each and every one of these little tackle boxes, it has um, a ruler on it, all the way up to about nine inches. It's pretty cool, uh, in case you want to measure your fish or see how long your fish is or whatever. Um, you want to do with it. <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead, put these all back in here like so. Oh. Make sure there's no other specs on here. Nope. Zip this bad boy up. I'm going to get a close-up image for y'all exactly how this bag really looks looks close um, the camera might not do it justice it might it might do it justice either way it goes I'm gonna show you a better close-up video of exactly what this looks like also I did not state it does not even show in the facts that this rod holder it has a rod holder on the side right velcro Boom. But instead of like my XPS, it, one second. Instead of my XPS, it only has one Velcro strap on top. That has two Velcro straps on top. It has a little zipper pocket down below. You open it up, reach in there, you pull out some gold. No, I'm you pull out this little pocket, right? It's like a little pouch. Like a little coin purse or so. And it looks like you can stash about two rods in here. Um, give or take, depending on the size of the rods. And sit it in there. Hang it off on the side like so. 
you leave it like that, boom, scrap it down here, and then you have your rod holes. So you don't always have to have this extension right here hanging out. They got a secret little compartment underneath, and that's pretty cool. It's so dope how well designed this book bag was, and I think I'm, I'm gonna like it a lot. I really do. So what we're gonna do now, we're going to go ahead, unzip this top cooler portion. I wanna go ahead and put my soft plastics and stuff like that in the cooler. So this is where I'm gonna keep it at. Being that's where I kept it at in the previous bag. But that it got a little depth to it, I will be able to slide these in here. Individually, pack by pack, one behind the other. As y'all can tell, I really do like Zoom Worms and Zoom products. Just they, I use them a lot. It's a very great company. Never let me down with the products that they got. And I am a supporter of 100. Listen, you can have my money and you can take it. All right, so boom. See, all those worms and paddle tails and stuff is now vanished into this little secret compartment. Flip it over, give y'all a look inside, show y'all how organized and neat that looks. Looks pretty decent to me. And you still got a lot of room to pack whatever you want in there. If you got more stuff, you can put a lot more stuff in there. Boom. Now, these eye bobber products that I got and find a location for them. Now, with this book bag itself, it has uh, something different in comparison to my other one. Is that over here, it looks like you got a Velcro strap just like the rod holder, right? But instead, it's meant for your fishing pliers. You stick it in like so, Velcro it down, there you go. It's coming off. It's on there for good. All right, that's gonna be my spot for my flyers. Um, now spot for the scale. I'm gonna stick it there. Okay, boom. You got those two little mesh pockets. Okay, so we now have set up for you. We now have the bobber, eye bobber scale sitting in here and we have to put our lip grips in the second pocket that it comes with. Or, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it in there. Now, what I'm probably gonna do, I'm gonna end up converting uh, a whole bunch of stuff into this one tackle box that has, I mean, I don't think I even showed y'all that. I forgot actually. I think I, I think I actually did to get. There's one more pocket right here. In front of this mesh pocket, you zip that down, and it came with another tackle box. This one came with it. She did not buy it. Um, we got a little pocket right here. It's not as deep as any of the other pockets, but it is enough room to hold this container right here. Zip it up. Boom. You good to go. I'm going to utilize that for something else take what I have right now, which is these two tackle boxes that I usually just throw on top on my other little bag, on top of my worms. I'm gonna place them in here and just use this pocket for that. Done deal. Now, all we have left is to put, and I think I'm gonna put the fishing line on one of my side pockets. Yeah, I'm gonna put the fishing line on my side pocket. That's for sure. There we go. Fishing line on the side. Now I got this big 17 pound line. I do not need to carry this with me. 12 pound is a decent number in between over light and heavy weight. I can work with that. 17 pound, I'm not gonna use it that often. I'm probably just gonna leave this at home. Okay. Now, what y'all came here for was the book bag, exchange, the specs, the facts, and everything. 
I love this book bag. Uh, if I want to give it a rating, I would give it a 9 out of 10. The only reason why I give it a 9 out of 10 is because when you need to put fishing line in your book bag, you need a little bit more room. Um, there's a lot of pockets and stuff for you to utilize different things for, but I feel like on my other book bag, it had a better position for that fishing line to be in. I um, mean, that side pocket, it would have been nice for him to add a little side pocket right here with a line feeder instead of the mesh, like the Bass Pro Shop bag. But other than that, nine out of 10, I have no problems with it. I love it, it is an amazing Christmas gift. Um, yeah, sad to say I opened it a little early, but I'm probably gonna use it a little early. Um, so yeah, we're done with that. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And if y'all got any questions or anything, go ahead and drop a comment down below. And check out the links that I have in the description below. Um, right now, we're done with the tutorial between the two bags thing. So we're gonna set that aside and go ahead and show y'all exactly what I have inside of my tackle boxes. I have a whole bunch of live baits, live target swim baits, um, a whole bunch of live target swim baits, different kinds, different types, sizes, whatever. Boom. Now, that's the majority of that tackle box there. Um, this one here, I have frogs, lures, top water baits, and jigs. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I usually keep in this. And that's all that's gonna probably stay in there. Boom, I'm gonna transfer that over to the other compartments. You don't have to watch that. That is way too much detail work. I'm probably gonna sit around and play with a lot of them. And I'm just gonna be 100% honest with you. It's probably full. So that's it, I'm not putting in the video. Um, other than that, I have this last little one with all my crank baits and hard baits and treble hook baits and stuff like that in the big boy. I'm gonna have fun transferring this stuff over and I appreciate every one of y'all for doing this. Like this video, please, 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 please. Go ahead and show it. Hit that like button for me. Um, make sure y'all subscribe. Catch y'all guys next time on MTA. Uh, and yeah, I hope y'all like the bag as much as I do. Peace.